Alright hey guys, welcome back to Fog Wrestling, doing another shitey Smackdown review. Watched this five days ago, and to be honest, I could I could barely remember the show five minutes after it finished, so uh, trying to review it five days later probably isn't the best of ideas, but hey, we're going to try it anyway. So, uh, what the fuck happened? The King of the Ring, the King of the Ring, final match. Uh, there was a, an appearance by The Undertaker. Uh, Sammy Sane and Undertaker in the same ring, who would have thought they'd have seen that? And, um Aye, so we'll start off with, I think, first out, Taker. Sammy Sane was like, Taker, I mean, you're a legend and all that, but it's time to go, do the right thing, get out of this ring, you know, that's shite, and then, you know, Taker walked out the ring, and, I mean, come on. Do we, do we honestly think that Taker's going to fucking leave because Sammy Sane told him to? Then he comes back, delivers a choke slam. Like, what was the fucking point of this? If Taker's gonna show up, something relevant. What's this achieving? I mean, no, no. Fuck, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, m remember this when they used to advertise legends, and it was for like, I mean, at least for at least Austin, right? He was, he was like, he was refereeing the contract sign. It was pish, right? But at least he was there for a reason. The enforcer, if you want to call him that. Taker's all oh, oh, hyping up Taker. Or? Just to, I mean, to, to fucking to leave the ring by Sammy. I mean, Zane. See, if Austin just shows up in the street clothes. Essentially, Taker has to fucking fully get all this gear on, his hat, do the five minute walk out to the ring to choke slam some fucking bum. You know what I mean? Like, what what is the need? It's a waste. I mean, if a guy's getting paid like a hundred thousand for the appearance, which I doubt, like, but if he is, fair play, because I mean, I'd fucking do it. Like, you know what I mean? Anyway, Even and if, all I know is Impact Wrestling three hours ago just uploaded. Point oh, first his fortune, lethal lockdown, full match, bound for I've seen that. And I'd say that's open. worth a wee watch. But anyway, back to the shittest show known to fucking man. That is um, a piece until NXT goes on uh, right, we had, uh, Network. Elias, he pulled out of the King of the Ring. So we have Chad Gable and Shea McMahon, which is the thumbnail of this fed. And as you can see, the height difference here is just some... I mean, Shea McMahon is... WWE, just two years ago, and this is WWE now, and Chad Gable, and that just shows how fucking shit the product is, because not like two years ago, it was fucking good, and also it just shows that Chad Gable, and the, the type of fucking vanilla midgets are pushing, Ali, Kingston, Ricochet, all these fuckers, ah, it's pish, I could fucking rant on it for days, what do you They're think, fucking pish, kill them anyway. all. I mean, look at the state, I mean, fucking, Shane's not even a fucking... A guy like this. Cedric Alexander. Look at the fucking state of that. You know what I mean? Beating AJ right. Styles, like. I know. So anyway, uh, Shane says he's going to be, since he's the best in the world, which Punk should be claiming royalties for since Flair's going to try and do that. But anyway, uh, Shane says he's going to face um, Gable in, a, in the semi-final tonight, and he appoints Kevin Owens, the referee. Tells Kevin Owens to do the right thing. So, during the match... Sammy Sane, no fucking Sammy Sane, Sammy Sane, Cat Chad fucking Gable, same sh pish. Chad Gable gets a pinfall victory on Shane. Uh, Shane now makes the match two out of three falls. And then uh, I think Kevin Owens does a slow count when Gable's going for the cover, <laughs> a fast count when Owen, uh, Shane's going for the cover. And then Gable gets Shane in like a submission, and Shane taps out. So Shane McMahon, right? <laughs> This is the same guy that we're supposed to believe can go one on one with like AJ Styles, one on one with Undertaker. Do you know what I mean? And, and, <laughs> I know. And and go life and death with these people. Every time there's a big match, Shane McMahon can you know step up to the occasion, but he loses two falls in a two or three falls match. But no, what I hate. No, no, no. The logic is. No, the logic is though. The logic is because he's a heel now. He has to lose. This fucking job. I mean, see back in the day, see when someone turned Fuck. heel. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so, it's fucking Gable stupid. wins. Uh, Pesh, Gable wins, and then Shane attacks Owens from behind and says, You're fired. Um, to be honest, there was probably other shit in this show, but I can't remember. And I think that's where we're going to end the review, right? I mean, see if you don't know what was on there. Well, it wasn't good. Because if it was fucking good, you'd remember it. And I don't remember nothing. All mm. I remember. It's Sammy Sane and Taker, and this whole semi-final King of the Ring with Shane trying to wrap Owens around his finger and manipulate him into, you know, helping him win it. 
and he I mean, didn't. So. They probably rewrote the Although, script concerning Roman Reigns and Eric Rowan. Like, I mean, I don't know what, what happened. I don't even know what happened with those two. I don't why give a Shane fuck either. Why Shane needs to win King of the Ring, I don't know. Like, why Shane needs to win King of the Ring, I don't know. Well, why does Chad oh, Gable yeah, need to win it? beat down Roman Reigns. Yeah, because Chad Gable's supposed to be a competitor, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's fucking pish. <laughs> he, could, he could win every title in the company. But it wouldn't fucking change any. <laughs> We'll see Triple H coming up. I'm the guy from NXT and fucking out on him, himself. Uh, Brad, the Brad Rules turn, the, Brad, the, the, the Brad Rules turned around and said, "Could you imagine Chad Gable with the WWE title?" But then, the, but then I thought, "Well, hold on. If Kofi Kingston's the world champ, where do you draw the line? You know what I mean? There's no the, the line's been crossed. You know what I mean? Anyone with two legs and a fucking beaten heart could be the world champ now. It's fucking yeah, no. I seriously, I, I I seriously don't know how you get much worse than Kofi Kingston. I mean. But yeah, that's the debate debating all day, so three things stood out in this show. Taker saying, um, Shane, Gable and Owens, and then Rowan beating, doing uh, Reigns. Didn't even think, I don't even think Daniel Bryan was on this yeah, show. Yeah, I didn't see him. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Steve, rating for this show. Fucking zero. I, I couldn't, I don't give a shit if Undertaker uh, showed up. I couldn't. I'm it's, it's got to the point now where it doesn't matter who the. I mean, seeing unless Chris Benoit comes back, it's not going to get anything more than a fucking zero from me. And that's the sad truth. I mean, it's getting a zero from you as well. Absolute pish. No, but it's got to the stage now, right? They bring back Austin and Tate. I mean, TNA bring back Ken Shamrock, right? A guy that's nowhere near Undertaker and Austin, but it's actually fucking relevant and more entertaining. You know what I mean? And it just shows you the daughter he's done. They're done. See, see wrestling, right? See if you're not bringing someone back to actually have a match. Like, what is the point, right? Like, Austin's great and all that. But see unless it's going to lead to a match or him being a GM, it's, I, it's pointless. Oh, like, you know what I mean? Turn up every six months and have a couple of cans of beer on the ring. I mean... Yeah, he still gets the biggest pop. Yeah, he could fucking cut the best promo out of everybody there, but... I mean, it's not going anywhere, do you know what I mean? It, it, would, it would help if Fish. the product was, like, Sammy, alright, and he came back and he'd be like, oh, what makes that show from good to very decent? or something? You know what I mean? But it's that bad, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Nothing can... Well, I mean, well, you get Austin showing up for... I mean, he, he cuts a promo which lasts, what, a minute and a half out of a three or a 20 show. It doesn't really right. fucking mean anything. Yep. Anyway, I mean, that's Done it. That Until next time. Fuck SmackDown. Check out Clash of Champions review because it's going to be another zero. Until then. Peace.